Happy Thursday, everyone. Welcome back to another video. My name is Tawanda and I'm the Migraine Crafting Diva. And on this channel, I do decorating on a budget, DIYs, and hauls with a sprinkle of migraine enlightenment. And today's migraine fact is there are a lot of self care remedies to help prevent migraines, such as stress management, exercise, yoga, meditation, acupuncture, anger management, fasting, and psychotherapy to help you develop a positive attitude and help eat with emotional repair. And now that I've given you that migraine fact of the day, I'm going to go ahead and start with today's DIY. So today's DIY is all about the Grinch. And what I will be doing is I will be doing five DIYs using the Grinch window cling that I purchased from Walmart. And let's go ahead and get started. So for DIY number one, I will be taking this glass bottle that I purchased from the Dollar Tree that also has fairy lights in it. And then I'm going to use two of the uh, window clings. The first one that I'm using is the one that has the Grinch on it. And he is standing by the Christmas tree. And then the next one I'm going to use is the one that has Max, the dog. The dog and it looks like he's popping out of a red gift box. And I am using some Mod Podge to apply to the back of the window cleans so that they will adhere to the bottles. And that is it for DIY number one. Let me know what you think. Um, I hope you enjoy this DIY. And then I will be moving on to DIY number two. For DIY number two, I have this bell ornament that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. I'm also going to be using some Mod Podge. And then I'm also going to use the window cling with um, Cindy Lou on it. And she has a wreath wrapped around her head. And I'm going to go ahead and just apply that with some Mod Podge. And then once I have that applied, I'm going to cut the edges of the ribbon just a little bit so it looks like the ribbon is wrapping around the um or the bow excuse me not ribbon so that it looks like the bow is wrapped around the ornament and then once i had that done i looked at it and i thought well you know what it's, it looks like it's missing something so then i went ahead and i just added some of the little bells to the side um, that was kind of empty and then i also added a red um some red ribbon from the dollar tree i removed the silver ribbon that it already had on it to hang on to the tree but um for some reason i don't have that um, footage but you will see the end product when i do the reveal and then i just added some mod podge to the top and the bottom of the ornament and that was it for this diy and these diys are going to be quick and easy but um they turned out really nice so let me know what you think. So for DIY number three, I am using one of the Dollar Tree Dry Erase House boards. 
and I am going to use some of the Anita's All Purpose Acrylic Paint in the color Lime. And I'm going to ahead, go ahead and just paint around the edges of it. And um, once I have that done, I ran out of my Mod Podge. So I'm going to actually just use some, some of the Aileen's Tacky Glue mixed with a little bit of water. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply some of the Aileen's to the back of the Grinch. And he's holding a gift there. And then once I have him attached or adhered to the dry erase board, I'm going to go ahead and also take off the, there's some presents on the window cling. So I'm going to go ahead and add um, two of those. I'm going to kind of layer them. And then once that is done, I'm also going to add some of the blue snowflakes off of the, the window cling also. And um, I just thought, you know, this is still missing something. So what I ended up doing was taking um, one of the Dollar Tree, um, the Dollar Tree tumbling tower blocks, and I just cut it at an angle. And then I also painted it with the lime acrylic paint. And I went ahead and I attached that with some hot glue and some wood glue to the side so that it looks like a chimney. And then that was it for this DIY. I hope you like it. It is one of my favorites. Let me know what you think. For DIY number four, I have this red cutting board and I went ahead and painted it with some of the folk art snow white um, paint. And then I took some of the mixture of the Aileen's tacky glue with the water. And I took some of the lime green ribbon that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. And the cutting board also, excuse me, and the cutting board also came from the Dollar Tree. And I put and I took the lime green ribbon and I just applied it to the sides of the cutting board to frame it out. 
And then once I did that, I went ahead and did a layer of the, um, the tacky glue mixture on top of the ribbon. And then I took the larger, the largest um, window cling, which is the Christmas tree with the Grinch. And I applied that on top of the, um, on top of the cutting board. And it kind of covers, it kind of is over the cutting board and the ribbon, but I just kind of wanted to give it a little, something a little bit extra because I didn't think it looked right just with the um, window cling and the white paint. Um, and so once I have that done, I went ahead and I also added some um, ribbon from the Dollar Tree. It's the red and white ribbon. And I also don't have the footage for that for some reason. I'm not sure why I don't have the footage with the ribbons, but um, you will see that in the reveal. So here I am just um, adding the ribbon. And I'll see here, I'm putting some more of the Aileen's Tacky Mixture onto the ribbon just to make sure that it holds in place and that it sticks. And then once I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and add the Christmas tree. And there it is. So here I am just putting down some of the Aileen's Tacky Glue Mixture and I'm gonna go ahead and place the Christmas tree on top of it. And then I, you can see how the green kind of just frames it out in the back. Um, excuse me, that was my air freshener going off if you heard that little noise there. Um, so yeah, that is it for DIY number four and we're gonna be moving on to DIY number five, our last and final DIY. So we are moving on to DIY number five, our last and final DIY, which is, I believe I'm going to say this is my favorite DIY and I'm going to have to make one for myself. So I gave all of these, the, all of these, um, DIYs to my sister because she decorates, um, using the Grinch theme at her home. So here, what I started off with was I had this cup and I went ahead and painted it with the snow white acrylic paint. And then I decided, you know what, I don't think I'm going to use the cup. I'm going to use the um, glass jar instead. And then I also have this Believe serving tray that I picked up from Walmart. And I've had this tray for probably five or six years. It's something that I purchased on clearance on the one of the after Christmas sales when Walmart used to have the 90% off. Um, so here I am. I took the lid off of the, the jar and I added some... Um, E6000 and some hot glue and I'm attaching it to the bottom or to the back of the serving tray. And then I am going to take the glass, the, the jar itself, excuse me, and I'm going to apply some of that Aileen's Tacky mixture. And then I'm going to apply the last couple um, uh, window clings to the jar. So this is a row of bells. So I'm going to go ahead and apply there. I have two of those on the window cling. So I'm going to go ahead and apply um, one of the rows to the bottom of the jar. And then I'm going to apply the, the next one to the top of the jar. And then once I have that done, then I went ahead and I applied um, the ornaments with the different faces of the characters from the Grinch on it. Just random. I just randomly placed those to um those onto the jar and then after i've done that i went ahead and i attached the jar to the lid and let it dry and that was it for this diy and the purpose of this diy is to basically be able to um like if you're going to do like a chip or a dip or something that or even fruit and dip you can easily put the dip into the the glass jar and then when you get to where you're gonna be, you can go ahead and add your chips to the top of the tray or add your fruit to the top of the tray, stick a spoon into the glass jar, and you basically just have a container to hold your dip, and then you have your serving tray for whatever items you're gonna serve. So um, 
I thought this was a really neat idea. So of course I'm going to have to make one for myself. I just need to find a serving tray that has a snowman on it. And um, yeah, like I said, this is my favorite DIY. And if you don't want to use it, you know, to hold a dip or something, you can always just put some fairy lights or a candle in the jar. But um, the main purpose is basically just to be able to hold like some type of dip and um, use a serving tray to serve whatever food item that you want to serve. So that is it for all of my DIYs for today. I hope you enjoy them and I really hope my sister enjoys um, these DIYs and um, I would just like to thank you for watching this Thursday bonus video and I will also have another one um, next Thursday and that will be the red trucks and I would just like to thank you for watching this video and if you like what I am doing please like share and subscribe I would greatly appreciate it and um, I really hope you have a blessed day and like I always say be nicer, be kinder. God will love you for it. And I hope you have a blessed day and I will see you on Sunday.